What specifications should a laptop have for DevOps work? That was another question on Code Cloud and DevOps Ask Me Anything. And welcome to another one yet. Now, there's a lot of people starting, you know, that coding career, that DevOps journey in the IT world. And it's excellent. It's a good time to be a DevOps engineer. It's a good time to be a programmer. It's a great time to be an IT person. It's a great time to start any kind of career, really. But for people in it it's a little bit different you know you can't just buy a computer for the sake of buying it you need to buy the right machine that would not frustrate you and you know there are a lot of people that will give advices to ask like yes just buy a macbook and then your problems are solved to be honest i find that advice a little bit biased and one-sided don't get me wrong i like macs i like the apple ecosystem but it's just not for me and i'm not eating on the apple ecosystem for this my primary operating system is windows and my mobile phone is android my tablet is android but i use the apple ecosystem also for technical purposes only but in this video i will not be biased in any way whatever operating system you want to go with to be honest go with it like no just go with it but let me answer you more specifically right now now the first thing you want to think about is the operating system you want to use so what platform do you want to you know do to be honest and to be very fair with you i would 100 percent recommend windows and it's not just because i'm affiliated with microsoft in some way as a trainer previously as an mvp or because i worked with microsoft in the past or because i will probably work with microsoft technology in the future it's not because of that it's simply because the user experience of getting acquainted with the windows operating system is easier and especially if you're coming into devops world there's something called windows subsystem for linux which gives you literally two operating systems on one computer let's not even talk about hardware now operating system windows from windows 10 upwards i highly recommend with wsl is uh compatible with that now I recommend windows but then there are two other major operating systems you want to consider this mac operating system which is the apple ecosystem which is great to be honest if you want to go for that it's also fine but then you won't be able to do windows stuff yeah but if you're on mac os most of if you're running commands and stuff most of the things you are do are actually linuxy in a way trust me it is so why not get an operating system that gives you that flexibility and of course, you can decide to go full Linux if you are into that kind of thing. I've tried to go full Linux before. It didn't work out quite fine. Maybe in the future, I will. Maybe if I become more technical or smarter, I will. But right now, I think my Windows ecosystem just works fine for me. So, three operating system choices to choose from. Windows, Mac, and Linux whatever one you want on to but i personally will recommend windows the next thing you would want to consider is your hardware specifications now i generally would recommend a laptop of at least 16 gigabytes of memory that is ram 16 gigabyte of memory and if you're doing it work i would highly recommend also your laptop is an ssd solid state drive based computer you could potentially get away with 250 gigabytes of onboard storage but i would generally recommend something 512 gigabytes of or higher and the reason for it is simple as you start building your images you know cloning repositories branching and everything it starts becoming larger and larger and larger unless you want to go through the painful task of cleaning up every single time on my personal computer that I use for my primary coding, personally not career now, it has a 2TB primary SSD and 6TB because I create videos also, that's the reason I have that. And my laptop has 2TB of storage, my work laptop also has 2TB of storage and the reason for this, I store a lot of files because my work requires me to do that. So get something with enough memory and if you can also get an external storage for things. And of course, we live in the world of cloud. You can always back things up to the cloud or a repository somewhere and only clone down what you need. So you can write some sort of automation to clean up things you've not used after some 
are weeks or months so that your computer is always free of memory so you can get a whole 256 gigabytes of memory of storage but i recommend 512 gigabytes or higher if you really want to spec it up two terabytes would be my top recommendation for that one um your secondary drives for storing your movies and your torrents and whatnot can be a drive can be a disk based i have a 14 terabyte external drive that i use with my computer and it works just fine my primary drives are ssd my secondary drives are hdds those work perfectly fine also for me and if you're on the windows operating system this is the bonus section if you're on the windows operating system there's something called windows dev drive or microsoft dev drive i don't know this of specific name right now but just find it out find out microsoft dev drive google it on bing bing it on google whatever you want to do microsoft dev drive this gives you a more optimized disk on your current disk for doing development work it makes it faster searchable searchability indexing and all that just works fine with it so find out about that and that's only if you're on windows anyway you can't have that on linux at least not yet also if you have the money to burn or if your company has that money you can consider cloud drives or dev boxes in the cloud azure G gcp aws you can consider all those options also and then also one thing to note is that the choice is ultimately yours whatever laptop you want to pick is ultimate whatever operating system you pick is absolutely your choice because to be honest at the end of the day the work you do is not really on your computer you're pushing the code somewhere to a repository to build and deploy stuff but if you're just starting out okay if you're just starting out and i'll tell you this if as if you are my sibling as if you're my son or my daughter and i'm not trying to feel old here or be like a mentor guru kind of person if you're someone i am directly responsible for or if i was to start my career again if i would pick a computer for myself I would still pick the Windows operating system. I would pick a laptop with 16 gigabyte of memory and at least very worst case scenario 256 gigabytes of SSD storage. Secondary drives can be HDD. And if you really have the money, you can go for the gaming laptops. They are super fast, but for just starting up your career, buy something basic, grow as you grow your career, as your requirements grow, you can then buy better, faster, and more optimized laptops for yourself. And I think that really answered your question. And I know it's a long stretch video, but I wanted to get really to the point and to the core of everything that I wanted to pass across to you in the video. And I hope that answered your question. If it did, let me know in the comment section, give it a like, subscribe. And of course, if you have further questions, use the link shown right now upon your screen or scan this QR code and I'll get to your questions as soon as possible. Until I come your way again yet with another video. Stay safe and goodbye.